so far the strategies using just our chemo immunotherapy uh, has not really um, <coughs> been successful even with hydrotherapy and transplant so the current paradigm is looking at on how we can uh, use the biological differences in large cell lymphoma particularly focusing on a non-GC subtype and try to see if we can improve the outcome so there's from um, historical data showing that there was a um, preferential activity of um, bortezomib, lenalidomide and ibrutinib in a non-GC subtype which have worse outcome uh, with our CHOP um, even in the era of chemoimmunotherapy, this is an opportunity to improve uh, potentially improve the results. So there's been a number of studies that are, some of them are not uh, completed yet or still results are still pending, but we have seen a result with the RCHOP and bortezomib versus RCHOP in a phase two randomized uh, study, but also in a large uh, phase three randomized trial, which have shown unfortunately no significant difference and that might have to um, be, uh, be um, related to the uh, potential bias of selecting patients. Um, by the time they enter a clinical trial for the um, attribution of the non-GC subtype. So the, the jury is still out on how combination with other uh, agents such as lenalidomide and ibrutinib will actually be preferential. The results in the phase uh, two study with lenalidomide in the R squared shop were very promising, nullifying basically the um, worse outcome of the non-GC subtype comparing to GC. So we're waiting for the results of the robust trial that is currently enrolling. And a combination of our CHOP, let's say Brittany versus our CHOP uh, as a uh, Phoenix trial has been completed and we should be getting results soon.